Hey guys, Brooke from Snuggly Fox Designs here. Today we're going to be making this cute little turkey applique. And as you can see, um, I have a little coffee cozy here. And you can put it on a coffee cozy or you can put it on a headband. Um, or you can even like attach a pin to the back of it um, and wear it on your outfit. Or sew it on as a little applique on a dress or whatever you think. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to start with the body of the turkey first. So I have this um, taupe color yarn and an H hook. And what we're going to do is we're going to make a magic circle here. And we're going to chain one. And we're going to place eight single crochets in our magic circle. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we're going to pull our ring tight and we're going to slip stitch to join. Now you can use a stitch marker and just work in a continuous round if you want to. Um, or you can do the chain one method. Now normally I like to work in a continuous round, but since it's just for a little applique, um, it's super easy to just do the chain one and nobody's even going to see the, um, that you have a little seam. So we'll go ahead and chain one and we're going to do two double or two single crochets in each stitch around. So we have our first stitch, that's one, two, our second stitch is two, three, Four, and again we're placing two single crochets in each stitch. Whoops, five, six, seven, eight. And once you get back to this part here, you're going to slip stitch to join. Now here is your chain one, so you're not going to slip stitch there, you're going to slip stitch in this next, in this um, first single crochet to join. Okay, so then round two, we chain one. We're going to do two single crochets, one single crochet in each stitch around. So two, one, two, one, and you continue this in each stitch around. Okay, so now we've gotten all the way around, and again, we're going to slip stitch to the first single crochet to join. So there's the body of your turkey right there, um, and when we're all done, um, we're going to pull this ring tight and I'll just do it right now so that you guys can see. Um, and then I tie a knot and then I weave this, um, tail in. Um, so I'll do it right now just so there's not a huge hole right there. Um, so anyway, so this is the body and now we're going to make the little head part. So we're going to chain three and we're going to place seven double crochets in the same stitch. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then we're going to chain three, whoops, one, two, three, and we're going to slip stitch in this same stitch that you're working in to join. And that is going to be your head. Just like that. So there's your little turkey body. So then you set this aside and your H hook, and now we're going to be working with our E hook, and we're going to start making um, the beak right now. So we have our orange yarn, and we're going to uh, make a slip knot here, and we're going to chain three, one, two, three. And we're going to single crochet in each back bump across. So then you'll have only two stitches. So that's one. And then there's the next back bump right there. So then you're going to chain one. And you have two stitches there. So you're going to just make um, a single crochet decrease right there. And that's all you have to it, to the little beak. So you tie off and um, leave a tail for sewing on. And then you set your beak aside. So now we're going to be working on um, this little part here. I think it's called like the glottal or something. Um, so we're going to be working on this little part. Um, or the waddle. <laughs> I just read my notes again. That's It's the waddle. Um, so we're going to chain um, nine. So we make our chain nine here. 
with our E hook. One, whoops, fell off my hook there. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And we just want a little bit of a curl, so we're gonna do two single crochets in the back bump of the second chain from the hook and each chain across. And this will make it um, have just a tiny little curl. So that's our second back bump. It always takes a little bit longer um, to put your hook in the back bump, but um, it really makes a nice finish though. And if you need help um, or a little reminder on where the back bump is, check out my other YouTube tutorial for the back bump. I also have a YouTube tutorial for the magic circle and how I keep my magic circle um, from coming apart. Basically, I just tie a little knot and then sew around it also. Um, so here we are at the end with our two single crochets in the very last stitch there. And then when you're done with that, you're gonna tie it off and leave a tail for sewing um, and kind of curl it up like that. And that is our little waddle. So that's done, so then we set that aside also. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to do our feathers. Now you're gonna make one yellow, one green, one red, and one orange. Now of course you can use whatever colors you wanna use, um, but those are the colors that I used on mine. So I'm just gonna make one feather um, for you because it's the same pattern for each color. So we make our slip knot here and we're gonna chain nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're gonna single crochet in the second chain from our hook, so this one right here. We're going to single crochet in the next back bump. We're going to place a half double crochet in the next back bump right there. Double crochet in the next back bump. Treble crochet, if you don't know that one, that one you just yarn over twice. Insert your hook, yarn over, pull through the first loop. Yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops, and yarn over and pull through the last two loops. So that's your treble crochet. Next stitch, we have another double crochet. And again, all these are in the back bump. Next, we have our um, half double crochet. And then we're gonna place um, all the rest of the stitches in this very last stitch. So we do our single crochet and then we have a half double crochet in that same stitch, double crochet, half double crochet, single crochet. And that just takes you to the other side. Now since we worked in our back bump, it's a lot easier to see these stitches here. They look like regular stitches instead of just having like one, um, one little loop there. It, it actually has our stitches since we worked in our back bump. So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna do a single crochet, half double crochet in the next, double crochet. Our next one's the treble, so we wrap it twice. Pull through two, pull through two, pull through two. Double crochet in the next, half, whoops, fell off my hook there, half double crochet in the next, single crochet in the last one, and we slip stitch to the first single crochet to join and you tie off and you weave in your ends. Now, um, I forgot to mention, what I normally do is I leave this part up here um, for my point, the top of my feather, just because it's pointier. Um, so I'll actually weave in this end, and when I'm starting my slip knot, I'll leave it a little bit longer um, to be able to sew it on. So once you have all of your feathers made, um, you attach all the feathers to each other first, is what I did. And then I sewed it onto the back of our little turkey right here that we had made. Um, you sew your little beak right here, your little waddle right here, and then I just embroidered um, the eyes right there. And like I said, you can attach it to um, a coffee cozy like this, which is what I think I'm gonna do. Um, you know, you always need, well, I always need coffee on Thanksgiving. I'm always up super late um, the night before, so coffee is like super amazing. Um, anyways, there is your turkey um, applique, and I hope you guys enjoyed. All right, happy Thanksgiving, guys. Bye.